Good morning, welcome back to Ashley's Homestead Adventures. And this morning, it's already, we have that winter storm coming in and it's already um, raining, foggy, and they say by 11 o'clock we're supposed to have snow, um, which is awesome to have snow in Arkansas, but we have some things that we need to do. And then uh, by, the, by this afternoon, we're gonna be in freezing temps and we won't see above freezing again for three days. So I'm gonna go ahead um, and flip you guys around and we'll get this day started because we got stuff to do. So first thing I'm doing is I'm gonna top off my waters one last time. And I've got the uh, tractor started because I need to move it. We need to do some shuffling around so that we can get that entire U-Haul unloaded. That is our stuff from Oregon. Not all of it, but most of it. We'll have one more small trip to make. Hashtag moving across the country. <laughs> um, but we need to get that thing unloaded and hopefully taken back today uh, before we have roads that aren't fun to travel on. So. Isn't that beautiful? Even socked in and in fog, it's still gorgeous. So I'm just topping off waters and uh, still that's eating her nice green hay. And the girls are Munching on theirs. Mr. King's munching on his. Good morning, buddy. Good morning, Mr. Kind Eyes. Good morning. How are you? Mm. The two little hooligans are eating their grains and sucking up their milk this morning. Uh, Billie Jean has coughed less this morning and it does look like her diarrhea was a little more solid last night. So I'll keep an eye on her today. And that's just one of those things that we don't show on videos or we try not to. I mean, it's part of farm life, so it's gonna show up every once in a while, but um, I will keep an eye on her bum today and what comes out and how solid it is. And I'm hopeful though that the antibiotic is, is uh, already working. So that's good. Mr. Hazy Hops is also doing well after his neuter surgery yesterday. He's out and about playing with his sister, no doubt, the two chocolate morsels causing trouble. Looks like the cats knocked over my wheelbarrow last night. Hi, Lily. Hi, barn cat Lily. How are you? Hmm? How are you? You don't want to be next to this, baby. It's water. You don't like water. Cats don't like water. belly on that boy. I'm 
just a reminder for those of you who are stressed out or worrying or panicking over these freezing temperatures, this is something that you can do. This is an easy thing that you can do. You can get a large stock tank or anything big that can hold water. You can get a water heater, stock tank heater, put it in. and plug it in to an extension cord that goes to an outlet uh, somewhere you want to keep, obviously you want to be able to keep your plug-in where it plugs into an extension cord. If you're using that, you want to make sure that you're keeping it dry or using an outdoor extension cord. These are important things, but this stock tank, if my well freezes and I have no way to get water to my animals, I have this huge stock tank full of water that is easily going to water my animals through this cold snap with a heater plugged into it to keep it, you know, thawed out to where I can bucket it out and transfer it out to my animals in my barn. So that is one way to alleviate a lot of stress if you're worried about pipes freezing and things like that. Oh, God, I tripped over a cat again. That's my first time. Well, I shouldn't say again. It's my first time today of many. I trip over those kittens all the time. Okay, I'm going to get uh, equipment moved around and uh, start shuffling. And we're going to start getting a U-Haul uh, unloaded. Getting closer. It's a good thing we have good helpers. Okay. Y'all know your husband loves your home canning. When in the floorboard of the U-Haul, he puts home canned applesauce in pears. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, good, bad, and the ugly, folks. This is facts of moving. U-Haul, empty. And this is what the garage looks like. There's just a couple cute, funny things in here that I'm just gonna share really quickly as I walk through the alleyways. <clears throat> First one, let me get this dollar out of the way. First one is, my seeds are here. So my seeds are here. There's four boxes there. That bag is full of beans and peas. There's more boxes there. This is all mostly house gardening stuff. Our food buckets are here. Our food grade buckets that we, for our food storage, our bulk food storage, they're here. But my incubator is here and my egg basket is here. I mean, what else does a girl need, right? And we went ahead and we left the crutches out to where we could reach them because we're pretty sure we're going to need them by tonight. <laughs> anyway, a lot of my crap is here, you guys, and I'm so tickled. I know it looks like a mess, and it is a mess, but this is moving. Whew. Got that U-Haul delivered just in time. Look, everybody. Snow in Arkansas. Come on, B. Got B all dressed. Going out to do our 
morning chores. Come on. That we didn't finish because we had to get that U-Haul return before this winter storm rolled in. Holy cow, look at this shop, you guys. Okay, we'll just walk through here. No, I am not a hoarder. <laughs> oh. This room is full. This is mostly brewing, meat processing, um, you know, pro uh, food processing gear, basically. Um, there's you know, our, our poultry um, wash station, our chicken pluckers in here, all of our big pots for scalding is in here. And then uh, pictures, mirrors, folding table chairs, camping gear. Call me crazy, but yes, I brought all this, brought all this stuff from Oregon to Arkansas. Okay. Let's go check on our babies. Hi. You guys want to get out for a little while? Run around? Hmm? You're looking... A little better. Looking pretty dang good, actually, if I do say so myself. Whew. All right. Everybody's getting snuggled in, but I'm going to go through and clean stalls and replace split bedding where need be so that they have a uh, dry bed um, to cuddle up in for when this weather just continues to get colder. Girls look happy. I can hear that the calves are down in there, down there getting into something. Velvet stall's all clean. Mr. King's got plenty of extra bedding. I do think that our antibiotics are working on our little girl. I did not clean up any icky pucky liquidy stuff uh, today in their stall and I got them all fluffed up and extra hay for them. Mr. Bronco will itch on anything. He is itching on the hitch of the trailer. Goodness! Are you okay? Are you itchy? Huh? Bossy hates wearing her coat. And she's she's very mad right now. She does not want to be wearing her coat. Okay. Oh, don't poop there. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, you rowdy little fart, you. <laughs> Okay. 
I'm gonna leave her alone. Let's go see if we can round up the hoodlum here. Hey, turkey. It's time to go back in your pen. It's all clean. You think you could do that? Back to your pen, please. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, watch out, Bussy. Here she comes, too. Oh, no. And then there was two. Okay. Well, let's see if we can go this way. Hi. Oh, boy. Come on. There we go. There we go. Go the right way. Yay! No! Fifty <laughs> percent. That's not bad. Okay. Let's see if we can make it a hundred. Uh, no. <laughs> okay. Mhm. Mm yeah, I see you. I see you. I see you, young man. Come on, little girl. Come on. There we go. Slow and steady. Okay, we got her. Nope, we don't have her. She's off. And he's in. <laughs> okay. Oh. Try this again. Oh, she's feeling ornery. That's good. I'm glad. Still got a little bit of a cough. Mm hmm. Oh no. Here he comes. Alright, here we go. If we can get you. There we go. Nope, I need to cut it off again. A little stinker. You need to go that way. And you need to go that way. Yay, success! Okay. Good though we want to keep uh, I know that her having a cough is not ideal but I want her to be coughing the stuff up if anything is in her lungs which it doesn't sound like there is but I don't want it settling down in her lungs so her getting out and moving and making her cough I'm okay with that Okay, good. I got a pile of green hay and I'll be back out this evening for chores. Check out our snowy sunset. that's about it for today all the animals are tucked in they've had their dinner a little bit of extra grain to help uh, keep up their body heat uh, during this cold night that we're gonna have and I'm gonna go in the house and get warm and 
you guys might not see me tomorrow. Uh, it's only supposed to get to a high of 16. I may not be doing much of anything. And frankly, I feel like I did two days worth of work helping unload that U-Haul trailer. That was a lot. <clears throat> me and Mr. Wonderful still are not convinced if we're not going to break out the, the crutches and, <laughs> and use those for a couple days. Uh, but thanks for hanging out with me so much. And if you guys like my videos, be sure to hit that like button. And the best way that you can help me is to subscribe to my channel and to share. So I hope you guys have a great evening. If I don't see you before then, Merry Christmas. And I'll see you on the next one. Yours truly.